There are a few lessons that I've taught that I thought were quite a bit better than the others. I believe that this could be my best lesson ever, and if not, most consequential. The essence of this lesson is we look at the guitar as having five pentatonic patterns. There's really only one pattern that moves around the neck in a, a, a very easy to understand manner with the right explanation. Normally we tune our guitar to perfect force until we get to tuning the second string and we tune that to a major third. I didn't tune my guitar the way you typically would tune it. I tuned it all the way force. Now, if you really want to understand what I'm saying, I would like for you to tune the guitar the same way I'm tuned. If you're playing along with some of these patterns and you're not tuned this way, uh, when you get to the second and first strings, it's gonna throw you. The reason I'm tuning like this is because it makes what I'm trying to explain very obvious. All right, to begin this lesson, we're going to go back to our old friend, the A minor, pentatonic pattern one in standard tuning. The red dot here is the root note. Of course, we have three root notes. There's one there and there's one on the first string. So sixth string, fifth, fourth, third, second, and first. This is what we typically think of as the third pattern. Now you'll notice at the bottom of this fretboard diagram, I have B string tuned to major third. So this is not standard tuning. The altered tuning allows you to look at this pattern in a way that really makes sense. Hopefully, <laughs> okay, hopefully. Let me show you what I mean. This is the root note. This is, you know, right here, the black notes. That's the first pattern. That is, I'll go back here quickly, that is this, except it's just this part of it right there, okay? The reason I chose pattern three is because the root note is on the, the second string there. These blue notes that are below this first pentatonic pattern right here, they exist whatever pattern you're in. It's just a matter of if we're on different strings with the root note, these blue notes just keep on moving up to where, you know, it would take actually a 10 string guitar to show you these notes for all patterns, especially uh, when we go back to the first pattern. I created an eight string guitar when I would have really liked to have had a 10 string guitar so I could show all the blue notes but if I had additional notes here, there would be a blue note here, a blue note here, a blue note here, and a blue note here. This is the pattern that I just showed you here, except now it's below the first pattern, as it will always be, as you'll see. Let's go back to the first pattern again. As you know, the root note, which is on the sixth string here, wherever you move that, you move the whole pattern up and down the fretboard, bring it up to the 10th fret, put the root note on the 10th fret, and uh, this is a D minor. Pattern doesn't change. You can move it down a couple frets and you have G minors. This determines what key you're in. Instead of A minor, you would be in D minor, G minor. So I'm going to move the root note to the fifth string. Now we have what we normally think of as the A minor pentatonic pattern four. Don't even think about pattern four. Think about where the root note is. That way, all you have to do if you wanna play A minor, take this pattern and put it on the 12th fret where there is an A note. Now you have A minor with the root note on the fifth string. So what if you want to play the root note on the fourth string? Well, we go to what we normally think of as pattern two. And so keep in mind, all of these notes, this pattern is identical. This blue stuff never changes at all to the third string. This is A minor pentatonic pattern five. It's also the altered tuning, so you can see and understand this better. Once again, here are your new friends, <laughs> the blue notes. And here is pentatonic pattern one. And now we will move to the second string. Normally think of this one as pattern three. 
We just have a little bit of the pentatonic pattern one there, and here are the blue notes, all A minor. And as you see, this pattern never changes. Here's where I throw a bit of a curveball. Pentatonic pattern one, and it doesn't look like our old friend. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because of the way I tuned the B string. But this shows you the difference between the altered tuning and the standard tuning is that part of the pattern just shifts. All you're doing is every time you get to the second string, the next two strings, you're just going to shift the pattern. So here's pattern three with the altered tuning and it's quite recognizable as the good old pentatonic pattern one, starting with the root note on the second string. Well, when we change the tuning of the second string, it makes a little leap like this. Now here's what I wanna get across to you. When you're playing any of the five patterns that you know right now, when you get to the part that is pattern one, of the pentatonic scale that you're familiar with and you get to the second string, wherever you are in that pattern, it shifts a half step, just like I showed here. So with your guitar tuned to standard pitch, play the patterns as I explained with the alternate tuning. So you can really see the first pattern and that's the thing that you're going to be altering when you get to the second string. And all you do is the second and first string, move them a half step to the right, and then you can really begin to learn that it's not five patterns. It's, you don't have to relearn all of this stuff. You just have to learn that one rule. And very quickly, you're going to see that the five patterns that you already have been working on and perhaps have been so confused that you don't even bother using, they start to make sense. You see exactly what's going on. Most of what is on the fretboard is not changing at all. Well, that's it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed putting it together because quite frankly, I don't use this tuning. I don't see the fretboard as I see it when my guitar is tuned like this. So I have to say, I'm looking at the fretboard a bit different myself. It all makes more sense than it did in the past and I hope that you find the same thing. Uh, comment on this and be kind. <laughs> you can see, I spent a lot of time on this putting these patterns together. And uh, you definitely got more than you paid for with this lesson because you didn't pay anything for it other than spending a little bit of your time watching this video. I hope you find it enlightening. I think for many people, it's going to be an aha moment. So anyway, comment for me. I want to see what you think of this as well as any other ideas and criticisms. What did I screw up? That's fine. Let me know. Uh, I'll do better next time. But uh, I think I did pretty good this time. Let me know what you think. So comment, subscribe. If I've totally confused you, I also give private guitar lessons on Zoom. There are links in the description. I will see you next week. Hope you enjoyed this.